I've been taking care of kids for 35 years and I've watched this obesity, diabetes, metabolic syndrome pandemic uh, erupt before my very eyes. When I was in medical school, we thought about diabetes as a disease of old people, and now we have uh, kids and people in their 20s and 30s who are developing diabetes. 30 years ago, we didn't even have a name for a condition called non-alcoholic liver, fatty liver, or non-alcoholic liver disease. Today, 31% of adults and 13% of children are suffering from liver damage. We don't see changes like that in such a short period without a major change in the environment. Something has changed. What's really glaring is how much sugar we're eating. We're consuming three times too much added sugar on average. Almost three times. So 10 years ago, one in 10 teenagers had prediabetes. Right now, one in four teenagers have prediabetes. So the purpose of sugar science is to take what we know in the medical community, not just about sugar, but its role in chronic disease and the things that actually inhibit people's happiness in their daily lives. The, the challenge is that all, all of us know that there are things we should be doing better in the diet, but I think very few people know how much sugar we're eating. It used to be a condiment. Now it's a diet staple. And, you know, I hate to harp on the sugary beverages, but it is the one example where I have patients who come back after they've made that one change and they talk about the weight they've lost. Sugar science is the first step on the way, hopefully, to a solution. Sugar science is about educating the public. The public can't change unless they know what's going on. The goal of sugar science is really to get the information out. Um, there really is a lack of uh, sort of an objective, authoritative voice on what the science actually is.